Yeah, we turn the beat up though. What's up, y'all? So, y'all see some different? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show y'all. What? No baby bump. So, yeah, my water did break, as I can tell by the title. All right, now my hair is kind of doing whatever it's going to do. Wanna do. So, I just cleaned up and stuff, but baby boy is here. You will see the videos after this clip after this story time so it's just basically my water broke labor and delivery because i did not vlog it it went kind of fast so we're just gonna get into the video and yeah so y'all i get second at night time i was like having craps and stuff and it was like real bad and i kept waking up and everything so I just started, I woke up, I had work in the morning, so I was getting up to get ready to go to work. For some reason, I kept having these bad cramps, and I'm thinking, okay, it's just maybe, maybe I just ain't feeling good. So I'm still about to go to work and stuff, so it's like, I got about an hour and a half to go to work. So I sit down, I'm like, okay, maybe I'm tripping. It keep coming back to back, like every five to six, seven minutes. Bro, when I tell you it hurt so bad, I was like, whoa, I was like, something not right. So, my boyfriend, he thinking, he like, are you, are you, are you serious, are you serious? I'm like, I'm dead serious. So, I'm not feeling good. I'm looking at Mary. Oh, I'm not feeling good. Like, it's hurting real bad. So, basically, it keep going on, keep going on. So, I text my manager and let her know everything. She was like, yeah, go to the hospital or something, something, something. So, I... I was calling my aunties, calling everybody, like telling them. They was like, they was like, some people thought it was contractions, some people thought it was Braxton. He spoke whoever. Everybody I called was like, you gonna have that baby to take. So I, it was just back to back. Like I would lean back and like I can't breathe. Like it was bad contractions. So uh, I had felt like I had to go to the bathroom. That's when I had got up. I was all, I was downstairs on the couch. So I had got up and I was about to go upstairs. Liquid start coming out. And it was like pink. So I'm thinking at this time I'm scared as heck. I'm thinking I'm about to have a miscarriage. Because I like, uh, you know, water breaking is supposed to be clear, right? But this is my first time ever experienced any of this. So we hurry up and get in the car, whatever. We go to the hospital. And I'm in pain. Like, contractions come back to back. I'm in pain. Reminding y'all. I cannot repeat this enough. So basically, um, we get out the car. And then, poof, I get out of the car and we at the hospital at this time in the parking lot and water just come out. I said, what? So I'm like, I think my water just broke. So we go in the hospital or whatever. They get me in this room. And so they they wanted to test my water. So it's a strip. It tested positive. Then they wanted to test me again. I don't know why because the test tested positive. Then they test me. You know how they do the rundown, talk to me, whatever. So they get me. They uh, test me again and they come back positive again. So, oh, uh, give me that. That's not yours. Give me it. He's still getting used to having his brother around binkies. But, yeah, so, so yeah. So they, the second test came back positive. I was like, yeah, your water broke, your water broke. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So they confirmed my water broke or whatever. And, that's when stuff started happening. So they was like, okay, we're going to get you in a room. And I, I was scheduled a C-section. But then they was like, first they was like, okay, we're doing a C-section. Then they was like, your body is preparing itself for labor. Woo -woo. Like, it's doing it all on its own. Reminding you, with my first time, my water did not break. I went to full 40. So I'm 36 weeks, right? And so they like, they was like, okay, you want to try to push them out? And then like, we had a whole discussion and stuff like that. And I was just like, yeah. Let me pray. A lot of people tell me it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work. Like people's doubting me and stuff. But turns out it did work. So uh so they get me in the room, they give me an epidural. When I tell you that contractions was killing my they was whooping my behind. So contractions was going on, whatever, and then they give me an the epidural. Epidural oh, Yeah, I feel like I needed it, but now it's like I'm having back pain and stuff. It's like ooh, it's like ooh. But I needed it, so and then like the contractions after epidural, I got the epidural. I stopped having, I stopped feeling the contractions. But 
I could not lay down on my back straight to for it to like go even. So that's where it messed up. Like didn't know my legs as much, but my legs wasn't on. So anywho, fast forward. Uh, my boyfriend had left to go get chargers and stuff from the house because we weren't prepared to have a baby today. So because my due date was August twenty seventh, I had him on August third. So Diamond, what are you doing? Anywho, so. Uh, what was that? What was I gonna say? Okay, so anywho, he leaves. I say about 20 30 minutes later, I start feeling this bad pressure, and I'm like, I feel bad, I feel pressure, I feel pressure. It was like, huh? They, and then they check me, it was like, oh my gosh, he's coming. So it was that fast. So I start crying automatically, and then uh, fast forward, fast forward, that me get back. So he'd get back right in time. I was, I was still pushing for a minute, but he'd get back right in time, and then he'd look at he like. It ain't gonna work because like, he's seen my son come in and out, in and out when I was pregnant with my first son and it didn't work. So he kept seeing that. So I say about after 10, 20 minutes later, it started working. And then they had me, they had a nurse had of a towel and I had on the other side of the towel and he'll pull that way, I'll pull this way. So he was like playing tug of war. So he'll pull and I'll pull. So I'll push harder. I was pushing harder, pushing harder. And that's when it really started working. So they was like, I was like, is it working? So in my mind, I'm thinking I'm about to go to surgery. It's like, no way. He ain't coming. He ain't coming out. So I'm pushing, 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 pushing. I say, they finally said, keep pushing, keep pushing. I'm like, you see him? They're like, yeah, you want to feel that? I'm like, nah. And then he, they, uh, I said, the last five pushes. Push. I feel the most pressure. His head was right there. That's why I knew he was coming because it got worse. Like, it was just like his head was stuck. So I gave it the last push. Push it. Oh yeah. So I gave it the last push. I gotta make sure because he could be me. Uh I gave it the last push. Ooh, he came out. They threw him on my chest. I was like, it was relief. The uh placenta, that was kind of crazy. When they push on your stomach, let the placenta come out, it felt like another baby. I did have to have stitches, so that was weird. They numb me and stuff. And like peeing afterwards that kind of hurt but like I got like this numb spray and you know water bottles in like the hospital underwear and stuff like that is real comfortable you know and it'll get right get back to life but yeah that's really how it happened and it was crazy I didn't want to make this video too long too short but yeah that's how he came his name is Damir my Angelo Steen but his first name is Damier. Yeah. So after this video, y'all see pictures, videos, and all that. And I can show y'all him right now. I will be doing more videos, routines, and all that. Because having another kid is kind of different. I do have a doctor's appointment for him tomorrow. So y'all will see that. I got this little carrier so I can carry him around when I'm cleaning up and stuff. Because I can't leave him around his brother too much. Because he be trying to be me. And I don't got time for that. But I've been a mom of two for seven days it ain't hard because it ain't as hard because their dad is here and he helps out a lot like a lot so but at night it's kind of rough because i'm not used to getting up because my son sleeps through the night this one is kind of different because he likes to sleep in the bed with us and he likes to be on people's chests and stuff but he's only a week old so i mean i ain't gonna push it about it I ain't gonna stress about it. But yeah, I finally got up to the shower today because the stitches and stuff, it makes yeah. stuff hard. And I, and like, I don't breastfeed, so these are just sore. So that's the bad thing. But other than that, everything been Gucci. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much the story time. If y'all having baby this year, pray y'all have a safe delivery. Every experience is different. My first experience was different than this one. It feels different and it feels like a different connection because I, my water broke and I pushed out a baby that I never thought I was going to be able to do. I thought I was going to have to have a C-section, C-section after C-section if I ever had another kid. But right now, I'm cool with two. I'm done for right now. But yeah, y'all, I feel different. It's like a different type of emotion because I pushed him out. So yeah, I can show y'all him right now. But well, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. More videos will be coming. And I the videos. Let me see that. Can I see that towel? Thank you. Thank you so much. Say hey. I love them. I'm so good.
I be I have a two year old in two months and I have a one year old after him, but right now he's only got a week week old and a one year old. Two year old about to be in two months. Oh yeah. Hair curly and whatnot. I'm about to show y'all him. Y'all, that's pretty much it for this video because I got a bunch of videos to be recording. Gotta edit this one. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed the little story time. And if you have any questions, just comment and let me know. But yeah, I'm about to get up out of here because I'm kind of sleepy. So I'm about to just chill, lay down before I try to fall asleep on him. I'm just probably gonna watch YouTube, but. When he get up, I got to and feed him, of course. So, yeah. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe. More videos to come. And, yeah. See y'all later. Say hi, Damien. He's so cute. I use it real quick. What's up, y'all? Baby boy is here. Oh. Say hi to here. You do so cute. His little outfit is cute.